Hey what's up guys in this video we're gonna see how we can create one thread by implementing the runnable interface. Like an in example if we have one class A and which is already extending another class B then it cannot extend the thread class because in Java only one class can be extended. So in that case we have to implement the runnable interface to create one thread and then we also have to define the public void run method inside the class A and to start the thread we have to create object of the thread class and the constructor of the thread class will take the reference of the class A as parameter and then we have to use the thread object and call the start method and by calling the start method it will create one thread and start executing the code we write inside the run method. So in this example program we have one class A. Now we are gonna create one thread by implementing the runnable interface. So we are gonna write class A implements runnable. Now we have to define the run method. So I am gonna write public void run and this method will print thread started onto the console. Now inside the main method I am gonna create object of the thread class and the constructor of the thread class will take the reference of the class A and then I am gonna use the thread object and call the start method. So I am gonna save the program and I am gonna compile and run the program. And you can see the output thread started. So we can create one thread by implementing the runnable interface and then we have to define the run method inside of that class A and to start the thread we have to create object of the thread class and we have to pass the reference of the class A as a parameter to the thread constructor and then we can use the object and call the start method and by calling the start method it will execute the code we write inside the run method. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.